Page 192, this is number two at the bottom of the page. It's just another thing to read. See if you can sight read it and see how you do. Yeah. And then after you've tried that, then let's go through and talk about it. I look it over, it's two lines long, treble and bass clef, three flats in the key signature, so it's either in the key of E flat major or C minor, because those are the keys with three flats in it, and it ends here. The C's, I'm guessing, are in C minor here. Okay. Do the scales and arpeggios for both those, C minor and, and uh, E flat major, I forgot where I was. Just two octaves up and down, just do what I say in the scale videos, in arpeggio videos. Mm -hmm. And 4-4 four, four time signature, let's take it one hand at a time. The left hand isn't doing much, so I'm still going to take it one hand at a time. The right hand's up here to start. And it's one, two, three, four. One. Okay, hopefully you can get that okay. Left hand, you're here. Remember the B flat and A flat are in the key signature. That's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, okay, now, now, until the last measure, where you're here, and then reach down to the octave, and I suggest you reach down, feel this, feel that distance, you could come down, and I encourage you to feel your way around the keyboard, feel where these keys are, and the octave, just reach, get there, and then it, once you're there, you can relax if you want, but use this to get you there, don't just that. There. Okay. Put the hands together and we're here. And here. Okay. And so you've done that. That's wonderful. And then I go back through and I get rid of any hesitations. Okay. That's wonderful. And then I add the articulation. Here. This is pretty connected. Here. You have to lift up for the rest so the phrasing is built in for you. The left hand, they don't give you anything. Oh, goody. Then it's up to us. I can connect them. And that's the default in today's music. The default is you connect the notes first. Try that. And after that, try other things. Try disconnecting them a little. Just a little bit of silence. silence to see how you like that. I don't know that there's a right or wrong here. In my opinion, it's just up to you and how you want to interpret it. If whoever wrote this really wanted to make sure you did it a certain way, they would put in the instructions to do that. Like the slurs in the right hand. If they didn't give you the slurs or whatever, you could disconnect them. In a sense, if these curved lines in the right hand are actually phrases, not slurs, you can disconnect them anyway. If these are sentences, and another one, like a statement reply, if that's the case, you could disconnect these notes anyway. Technically, however, in most cases, when we see the curved line, we're going to go ahead and connect it. For the left hand, I'll leave that up to you. Connecting the left hand, now remember, you're lifting up in the right hand for the rest, but you're going to connect the left hand all the way through? Okay. Speed is moderately fast. Well, it's not fast, it's moderate, fat, whatever, I don't know. it's the feel of it. Moderate would be this. Fast would be a little bit lower, huh? about that speed. Now I forgot to do the dynamic, shame on me, but the only one they give you is a, a forte. Shame on them. It's loud and you say okay that applies to the melody, but sometimes in music, especially piano music, you can have a duet going. Each hand is important. So if the melody really is the right hand, then that forte applies to that. And these need to be in the background, sort of a moderately loud thing. So I'm heavy here and sort of heavy here, and make sure you're letting the wrist collapse a little bit. You don't get tense up and start pounding. You're just feeling heavy is all.
Stay relaxed. Heavy, but relaxed. Okay. Now the retardando, you slow down a little bit. And on the last measure, to do it technically correct, you should be quiet, completely quiet, on beat two. One, two. There. I tend to hang over the last one. It's like I put a tenuto line on the, just to hang it, linger on it. That's not what's marked, that's interpretation. That's the difference. Natural accents. One, two, three, four. One. Feel the natural accents as you go through this. Let's play it together very slowly and check the notes and the rhythms. I'll give us what, four counts, and again on these play with me's I don't do dynamics. We're not performing it, we're just checking notes and rhythms. I will do the articulation though. One, two, three, four. Ready, go.